Welcome to Grey on Mat. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this trapezoid the A, B, C, D, and inside this trapezoid A, B, C, D is a yellow semicircle and a blue circle. And uh, this uh, yellow semicircle is tangent with the segment A, D, and segment B, C of this uh, trapezoid. And also mutually tangent to this uh, blue semicircle at J and tangent at the, this side the uh, c d at e and uh, while this uh, blue uh, circle has a center at h is uh, tangent at j and uh, tangent with the trapezoid inside at point i and f and uh, the length of this uh, segment a d is uh, 8 while this uh, segment b c is 2 and we are required to find the area of this uh, blue circle. Okay, so since we are required to find the area of the circle, then uh, it is inevitable that we find first its radius. Okay, so, uh, but first, uh, before that, we first need to find this uh, the radius or the diameter of this uh, yellow circle. Okay, so, uh, we first need to find this uh, re uh, diameter of this uh, uh, yellow semicircle. And to find the diameter of this uh, yellow sem semicircle, so this uh, the diameter is also this uh, length. Okay. From C to a perpendicular, I mean a perpendicular line from C to a point on AD. Okay. So, we actually form a right triangle. So, uh, this uh, is uh, this, uh, let us make this uh, point K. So, this length is KC is equal to AB. And this uh, length KD is actually uh, 8 minus uh, 2. So, this becomes... Uh, KD is 6, so 6 minus 2, 8 minus 2 I mean, so this be, this becomes 6, and, uh, okay, so one leg is already 6, and next is we, uh, we can already uh, see the hypotenuse to be uh, uh, this uh, segment uh, DF plus this uh, segment EC. So, I mean DE. So, this DE is actually uh, congruent with AD because uh, this is actually, E is actually a point of uh, tangency. Okay. So, this is a point of tangency. So, this should be a 90 degree angle. And with this at point A, a given 90 degree angle. So, DE is actually uh, congruent with the uh, AD because they are both tangent points at A and E and uh, the tangent segments intersect at D, their common point. So uh, this becomes uh, 8, DE is 8. And also same with uh, BC and EC. So since BC is 2 and EC is unknown and there are uh, uh, tangent external tangent point is at C, so this length is actually two. So adding uh, these two, so this becomes a uh, ten uh, for the hypotenuse. Okay, so solving for the leg uh, KC. Okay, so KC squared is equal to the hypotenuse, uh, which is a uh, uh, 8 plus 2, 8 plus 2 squared minus this uh, KD, which is a 6 squared. So KC squared is equal to 10 squared minus 6 squared. So this becomes KC squared is equal to 100 minus uh, 36. So it's equal to KC squared is equal to 64. 
And if you take the square root of both sides, you have here a kc is equal to 8. And kc is actually equal to ab. ab. And is equal to 2 times the radius of this uh, semicircle. So we can call the radius of the semicircle as capital R is equal to 8. So if 2R is equal to 8, Then, therefore, if we divide both sides by 2, so R is equal to 4. For the radius of this uh, yellow semicircle. Okay, so notice that uh, from the center of this uh, semicircle, the yellow semicircle, so we can actually draw a line to the center of this uh, blue circle. And since they are mutually tangent, we can draw a straight line to H. And we can continue a straight line to point D. Okay. So we form a uh, right triangle. Okay. And we can actually label this uh, the radius of this uh, blue, semi blue circle as R. This as R. And this is also R H to F. So R. And uh, uh, if we draw a line from H to towards the perpendic uh, towards this uh, GE perpendicularly. So we form a smaller uh, right triangle. Okay. So this uh, length is actually, uh, uh, let's say this is uh, L, point L. So uh, this uh, G is actually a uh, 4. So this length GL is actually a uh, 4 minus R. Okay. And this uh, from G to J is R. So the hypotenuse is R plus R. And uh, we have here this uh, unknown uh, segment yet, this LH. Okay, so if you isolate this uh, triangle GED, okay, so this uh, triangle uh, has uh, one leg uh, GE as, as 4, and the other leg as uh, DE is 8, so 4 over 8. 4 over 8. This uh, triangle, the opposite, I mean with this angle. That is the ratio for the opposite of opposite over the adjacent. So, this uh, this triangle GED is simul similar to this uh, smaller triangle HFD. So, one, uh, <clears throat> one leg is actually uh, R. HF. Then... The other should be, uh, let's call it as x. So, x is equal to 8 over 4 if you cross multiply. Or x is equal to 2r. So, this length df is x. So, this becomes uh, 2r. So, if that length is actually a 2R DF, then you need to subtract that from this uh, whole length of a DE, which is 8. So, this length becomes 8 minus 2R. And also, that is the length of this uh, HL. So, HL is equal to 8 minus 2R. And from that, we already have this... Uh, the dimensions for this triangle G H L. Okay. Okay. So if you focus on this uh, G H L, the right triangle G H L. So we already have this uh, the representation for the length. So uh, for one leg, it is a uh, eight minus two R squared plus. Uh, 4 minus r squared is equal to 4 plus r 
squared. So we have, uh, this becomes a 64. Then uh, 8 times 2 is 16. Times 2, this becomes 32. R plus square, uh, this negative 2R. So this becomes 4R squared. Plus, uh, this becomes a 16, squaring this binomial. So 16, then minus 8R. Then uh, plus R squared is equal to this. Uh, hypotenuse squared, so this becomes a 16 by plus 8r plus r squared. Okay, so we can actually cancel this uh, r squared on both sides and uh, this 16. Okay, so we are left with the uh, 4r squared, and uh, if you simplify this negative 32 and negative 8, this becomes negative 40. And if you put this uh, negative, uh, positive 8 to the left-hand side, this becomes negative 8. So we have here negative 48R. Okay, so, and for the constant, we have uh, 64. So plus uh, 64 is equal to 0. And we can actually divide the all coefficient by 4. So we have r squared minus 48 over 4 is actually 12r plus 64 divided by 4 is 16. So we are just to solve this resulting quadratic equation. Okay, so solving this resulting quadratic equation, we have, we can solve this by, uh, Completing the square, so r square minus 12r plus uh, 12 divided by 2 is 6, but you need to square that, so you have 6 square is equal to this 16 to the right, so negative 16. Then plus 6 square on the left, you should add also 6 square here, and that is 36. So on the left hand side, since this is already a perfect square trinomial, so we can say that this is r minus 6 squared. So it's equal to this uh, negative, uh, I mean positive uh, 20. Okay. And if you take the square root of both sides, okay, uh, this becomes a uh, square root of uh, 4 times 5. So, r minus 6. Okay. And since 4 is the perfect square, so you can write it as 2 square root of 5 plus and minus uh, equal to r minus 6. And if you put this as 6 to the right hand side, you have here r is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 square root of 5 for the radius of this. Uh, Circle. Okay, so since this is a quadratic equation, we have actually uh, uh, two solutions. But the obvious solution is this uh, this minus this uh, 6 minus 2 square root of 5. Because if you use this uh, 6 plus 2 square root of 5, then it will be already larger than this. Uh, the radius of this uh, yellow semicircle. Okay, so we are left with this answer to be the radius r is equal to 6 minus 2 square root of 5. Okay, so to find the area of this uh, blue circle given already, we found already the radius, so area is equal to pi times uh, r square. Area is equal to pi times the radius squared, and that is a 6 minus 2 square root of 5 squared. And area is equal to pi times a, this becomes a 36, since this is actually a binomial, so 36 uh, minus 2 times 6 times a 2 square root of 5. Then this uh, 2 square root of 5, this becomes positive. So 2 square is uh, 2 square root of 5 
squared. Okay, so area is equal to pi times uh, 36. This already becomes 2 times 6, 12, 24, so minus 24 square root of 5. Then this becomes a uh, 5. If you square this square root of 5, so that becomes 5 and 4. So plus 20. So we just need to add this 36 and 20. So this becomes a uh, area is equal to 56 minus 24 square root of 5 times uh, pi. And that is square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.